Hello, I'm Malcolm Cox, and this is another Tuesday teaching tip. Today we're talking about preaching the parables. Preaching the parables, teaching the parables, how to get the most out of those amazing stories that Jesus told. Now, today, rather than talking about how to interpret them, what I'd like to do is give us some resources to help with that, because I found, in particular, a couple of books to be so useful in helping me to dig in and then understand these parables and be able to then, I hope, teach and preach them more accurately and more helpfully. So that's what we're going to talk about today. By the way, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and let your friends know about these recordings if you find them helpful. Now, two resources. First of all, this one. Interpreting the Parables by Craig Blomberg. I use this book every time I preach a parable or teach on it. I go back to it even though I've read it more than once and the particular sections about some of the parables I've read many a time. But I go back to it again and again because firstly Blomberg brings a great deal of scholarship. His New Testament scholarship is excellent. He brings that to bear on this book about the parables. Secondly, he draws extensively on the scholarship of others. You'll find other people quoted in here, either referenced in a footnote or quoted as part of the body of the book. So he's bringing not only his own depth of scholarship, but the breadth of many other people's scholarship into one book. Very, very helpful. I also find that his summaries of the parables are particularly helpful. So he's not interpreting a whole uh, chapter. He just looks at individual parables or sometimes parables that are very closely connected and looks at them together um, as one and as such um, you'll get a page two or three on each parable and there's a great uh, uh, strength in what he's doing in summarizing them and finding what you might call the punchline the punchline of the parable every parable has a punchline usually at the end sometimes there's more than one there's a great deal of humor and drama in the parables of Jesus, and Blomberg helps us to, uh, to understand that and to draw it out. So getting it down to that one sentence, what's the parable about in one sentence? I'm preaching this coming Sunday on Luke 14, 25 to 35. Anyone who come after me must hate his father and mother. And then the two parables about building a tower and the king going to war against another king. And Blomberg just brings it all down to one sentence here in his book, talking about uh, those two parables together. He says this, the parables are best taken then of human activity and their one main point may be phrased as follows, would-be disciples must consider the commitment required to follow Christ. Nice, simple summary. Perhaps it's obvious to you. Some of the parables, it's a little more obvious than others and so I would recommend this book. He also has a good section at the beginning on how to interpret parables in the, the theory of that, if you like, as well as the practice. And uh, that's helpful because it gives us some insight into how to use and to understand parables as a genre. Parable and allegory, form criticism, uh, redaction criticism, new literary and hermeneutical methods. And that's the first 160 odd pages of the book. Some of us may find that more helpful than others, but I do personally recommend reading that. Then he goes into the parables and sections them into three-point parables that are simple, then three-point parables that are complex, then the two-point and one-point parables, followed by an interesting section at the end of the book focused on the theology of the parables, the kingdom, and the Christ, because so many of the parables are teaching us something about the kingdom. I've been preaching through Luke, and there's so much there about the kingdom in chapter 14 and 13 and 12 and many other places. So trying to understand what Jesus meant by the kingdom from the parables, but also how the theology of the kingdom affects our understanding of the parables, very useful. So that's one book I would recommend, Interpreting the Parables by Craig Blomberg. In my opinion, any serious Bible teacher needs to have that book on their bookshelf and reference it regularly. Now, second book. I love this book. Here we go. Kenneth Bailey, great author. Kenneth Bailey, and this is a combined volume of two of his books, Poet and Peasant and 
through peasants' eyes. I'd recommend getting both. I'll tell you why. Uh, but before I do that, just a bit of background as to why these, these books are so helpful. Kenneth Bailey lived in the Middle East, in that region of the world, for decades. As I, as I believed did his parents, I think, before him. He was soaked in that culture. Yes, a Westerner, but soaked in the culture. And as such brings a great depth of understanding of the culture to the interpretation of the parables. He, he has a technical understanding of the parables of, in terms of scholarship, but he also has that lifestyle understanding of what it's like and what it was like for dec decades, for generations, for hundreds of years to live in that part of the world. And this enriches not only the book, but his understanding of an explanation of the parables. And I think that's helped me a great deal in placing the parables within their context. Wonderful set of uh, two books on this. The first book, I think we really need, do need both books. The, uh, the first book has more background on the culture and on how to interpret parables. Uh, sections on the, uh, the challenge of interpreting parables, the cultural issues, uh, the different kinds of literary structures. And then he goes into, in the first book, an analysis of four parables, so just four. In the second book, he uh, gives an explanation of uh, many more parables, all from Luke, by the way. So this is just focused on the Gospel of Luke. And in the second book, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, it's about ten different parables. So not every single parable, and only the parables in Luke. But my goodness, it'll, it will enrich your understanding of the parables in, in all the rest of the Gospels as well. So very helpful. I would recommend this again if you're preaching or teaching at all from the Gospel of Luke. I really think you need to have these two books on your bookshelf and use them, as I do, very regularly. So, Blomberg and Bailey, the two Bs that need to be on your bookshelf and used. I hope that's helpful. Let me know what you think. Have you got any books in particular that help with understanding the parables and then preparing lessons to preach them? Uh, I must admit, if, if I could only pick one part of the Bible to preach for the rest of my life, much as I love the Old Testament, much as I love the historical narratives, much as I love all parts of the Bible, the writers, letters, of, letters of Paul and everything, if I, could, if I was restricted to one thing, I'd say, please let me preach on the parables from now till the day I die. We need books that help us to draw out the significance of these amazing stories of Jesus. So, let me know your thoughts. Uh, you can email me, mccx at mac.com, or you can leave a message anywhere you hear or see this recording. And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and let others know about these recordings. Until the next time, I hope you have a terrific Tuesday and a wonderful week. God bless.